Okay, I'm going to be brief because I'm on my way to class. But, um, yeah, I did my hair yesterday. Yesterday was wash day. And I'm so excited, you guys. I finally think I have my natural hair care regimen together. Um, <clears throat> been a hot minute. Um, I've been done transitioning for, what, six months now. <laughs> and I finally got it together. So, uh, my official, uh, Official shampoo is Alba Coconut Milk Extract Hair Wash, and this was always my favorite. It was always my favorite because it's not stripping, but it still lathers well. They're organic products, no parabens, no you know lauryl sulfate or ammonium sulfate. Um, it's not tested on animals. I mean, and, and it smells divine. Um, the conditioner is awesome, and they both smell so good. Um, and they're just light, fresh, fruity, tropical smells, not, you know, strong, like, herbal smells. Um, I love this shampoo. And the only reason that I, I decided not to put it in my regimen was because, um, the store that I purchased it from was my store, Walmart, um, but they were on clearance. And every store I went to had them on clearance, which is what made me try it in the first place. It's only five bucks. And, um... I started to get a bunch of them on there on clearance. I'm like, well, dang, what if I don't like it? I'm stuck with all these things. So I only got one, and I loved it. And when I went back to get some more, they were already clearance out. They're not carrying them anymore. Um, so I figured, well, dang, I need something that's easy to get. So it doesn't make sense to make that part of my regimen. So my second favorite was Organic Root Simulator, um, which I liked. I mean, it was nothing crazy to go nuts about, but I really did like it. Um, it was thick is what I like. Um, and my hair did feel moisturized afterward. Um... But, yeah, I realized Amazon has it and Vitacost has it. Um, Vitacost has it even cheaper. Like, including the shipping, you can get the shampoo and the, well, the hair wash and the conditioner um, for less than 20 bucks. I thought that was awesome. And, um, yeah, I'm really excited about it. The conditioner I'm only going to use um, when I co-wash. But, uh, because I found a better conditioner for when I'm shampooing, which is... Smooth as silk Giovanni um, deep moisture for uh, damaged hair. This is organic, also certified organic, and I only tried honestly and truly um, because of Kimay Tube channel. Because of her channel, um, this is her staple conditioner for like eight months now. And when I say I love it, I love it. I was nervous because my mom, after I'd already purchased it, she told me um, that she'd used it before and she didn't really care for it. That it didn't do anything for her. I was like, well, you say that after I buy it. But um, as I've said before, our hair textures are totally different. The needs of our hair are totally different, and it works for me. I mean, my hair has never, ever in my life felt so soft and been so easy to tangle and smelt so sweet from the Alba hair wash. I mean, it was an amazing hair washing experience. Outer body. <laughs> But, yeah, so those are definitely my two staple products. So, I'm really not, probably not going to be using, um, the, because that conditioner, the Apple conditioner has a lot of slip. So, that's really the main reason that, um, sorry, I get my shower, comb out the shower. Um, that was my main reason for using the V05 is because it has so much slip, more so than any conditioner. Um, because most conditioners that I used before, like Hyrie Fruit Teas, they were, um, you know, really creamy. But VO5 was super, super, uh, I don't want to say runny, that's kind of derogatory. Um, not runny, but it just had a whole lot of slip, and it smelled nice, and I liked it. And it's so cheap, God. It's like less than a dollar, <laughs> um, which I love. Um, and I still have, like, two bottles, because I was buying them, like, three and four bottles at a time, because they were so cheap. But, um, yeah, I think I'm going to stick with the Alba conditioner for co-washing. Um, and the hair wash actually is so gentle that you could shampoo every day if you wanted to. But I feel like that's a little excessive. I don't use enough, you know, products to have to shampoo every single day. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to stick to once a week on Mondays um, as far as shampooing goes. But, yeah, so right, I braided my hair. And I figured this would be better. I could bun my hair back or put it in a ponytail back, um, and it will be fine. Instead of having to put all of those braids in every time, it's 
takes so much to get them all out. This is a lot, and I don't, I can't deal. <laughs> Not right now. So, um, this is just my water and glycerin mix that's right on it. I'm about to put on my smooth and shine leave-in treatment, treatment, which is almost gone. And the store that I get it from has not, well, last time I checked, they hadn't gotten it in yet. They were actually weren't planning to buy it again, because it seemed like, dang, the products that I like that are amazing for my hair, other people don't buy them enough. Dag. But, um, he said he was going to, because I come in there all the time, he said it's in a special order it for me, and I'm like, please don't get one bottle. Please get a couple bottles, and I'll buy whatever you get from me. Jeez. Anyway, and then this is Elastic UP Recovery, um, anti-breakage oil moisturizer. I love this stuff. And just, I mostly concentrate this stuff on my ends, but, you know, whatever. Okay, and then my milk and protein olive oil daily growth lotion. I'm almost out of this, too. I always forget about this when I go to the store. I should have got some of this, because I know they have some of that. Anyway, it's rubbed out here really good. And my hair still feels so soft. Like, normally, uh, unless my hair is in braids, um, when I sleep on my hair and wake up, it's like a little nightmare under there. <laughs> like, it's so serious. But, um, it feels really good still. And it's still pretty detangled. I mean, I slept on it. You know, and it's just wild and free under that cap. So it does some crazy things. But it's still pretty detangled. And I'm, um, yeah, I'm really excited about this right now. So I'm just going to comb this out. And when I comb it out, when I put it in the pony, it doesn't look as curly, but it's... Yeah, so, um... Just going to... Oh, I do need to put a little bit of aloe vera gel on the back. Just to make sure that little baby is smooth and doing what she needs to do. You know, I love aloe vera gel. It's like my best friend. There's a girl, I can't think of her name right now, that I watch on YouTube, and she, like, uses so much Echo uh, Styler, like, olive oil gel, whatever. It's ridiculous. I mean, she has, like, this huge tub of it. And, I mean, she does a lot of wash and goes with it, so, you know. But, um, and she slaps so much on her edges. And don't get me wrong, her hair looks really nice. But that, I thought I used a lot of products. I mean, she, I know she goes to those buckets, like, by the week. <laughs> um, it, it doesn't cost that much, though, so that's a good thing. It kind of makes me, and her hair is super cute, it kind of makes me want to go back to my washing clothes with the Echo. Because I haven't done that in a long time, because I've been trying to get on the protector style thing. Um, and, the uh, you know, winter's here in Florida or nothing. Like, you don't even have to wear a jacket. You can flip-flop it. Uh, last winter was kind of cold, but this winter is back to normal. So, I could really do it now if I want it, but I think we're just going to wait till um, springtime, you know. And so now I'm just taking my uh, coconut oil. I'm just going to rub it on these braids up here. I'm pulling them a little bit, trying to... You know, they got all frumpled under my cap. Good enough, I guess. Good enough. And then, um, just rub the excess olive oil on my little pony back there. And that'll be good. I'm just going to take some aloe vera and put it on my edges. I don't brush them or anything like that. I just um, slip the gel on there because it's not imperative for me to get like a relaxed look laid, laid, laid down. I mean, I'm natural. There's going to be some little frizzies hanging out there. Um, but I just like it to look a little better. So, in this side, I must have did this side a little tighter or something because it hardly has any hairs poking out the top, but this one. There's quite a few. You know, I think my edges are... Okay, that's that. And so this is my thing. And I think I'm going to do this, like, rebraid it, just the front and ponytail it or bun it um, every week. Like, my needs my wash day and just do this because it takes a lot. Like, I mean, it took me probably 35 minutes to do the whole thing. Oh, that's one uh, thing I got to go. But that's one thing I did want to say. If that deal, Friday, baby.
normally when I'm braiding my hair, I have to keep it wet. Like as my hair starts to dry out, it starts getting a little difficult to work with. It starts tangling in the back a little bit. It gets a little dry. Um, even with my product on it, <clears throat> it just started doing some weird stuff. I used to wet it again so I can work with it a little better. Let me tell you, after I got out of the shower, I kept my hair in my four clips. You know, I have to section it off and got on the treadmill. Because, um, you know, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm supposed to be starting my training for boot camp. So I finally started my training. <laughs> Let me tell you, I'm out of shape. But anyways, um, so I'm running, I'm sweating like a pig, I'm about to die. And um, my hair was like, the front was a little damp, but the majority of my hair was like almost dry. And after, you know, partying it, sectioning it off, da 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 this and that, and doing 20 other things, and eating my green beans, before I started, my hair was like dry. But it was still soft and still detangled and so easy to comb through. I did not have to rewear my hair. I left my water bottle in the bathroom and I was lazy until I get up, so I was tired from running. And I could still, it was amazing. Like, let me tell you, Giovanni is the business. And if you get it from the store, at least in my city, it's kind of expensive. Um, and I saw it for as much as 20 bucks online. But I got it from Amazon. Um, I forgot which seller. Not directly from Amazon. You know, they show you a list of other sellers on the site that sell it. And I got it for 8 bucks, including the shipping. So that was awesome. And, and I really love it. So I'll make sure I go back to that particular um, seller. But I got to go to class, y'all. But love you.